Getting a brand new gaming laptop is always such an exciting time and whether you just got a brand new one for Christmas or bought one for yourself because it was on sale, then this video is perfect for you because I'll be going through everything that you should do first when you get a brand new gaming laptop. And in my case, I'll be using this Lenovo Legion 7i to walk through all of the tips and guides in this video, so let's get right to it. So as far as initial setup goes, there's actually not a lot to do here since your laptop probably already came with Windows pre-installed along with a bunch of other bloatware and apps that you probably don't need, so let's get to that. The very first thing that I recommend doing is getting rid of all of those apps that you don't need because not only do they take up space on your computer, Computer, but it can also slow it down, especially if all of those apps are booted up when you turn on your PC. One way to get rid of all of those apps is to open up your laptop, type in the search bar, add or remove programs, and you'll see it'll open up a window in the control panel that'll show all of the apps that you have downloaded on your computer. Now this applies to both gaming laptops and any pre-built gaming PCs. They just come with so much bloatware and apps that you don't need. So let's go through this list and see which apps that we don't need, for example. So as we're scrolling through here, you can see there's things like the journal app. Yeah, I'm not gonna use the journal app on my gaming PC. So you can go ahead and uninstall that by clicking on the three dots on the right and clicking uninstall. And if we scroll down more, maps, I'm not gonna use that either, so you can probably uninstall that. Basically, you should go through this list and uninstall anything that you know you won't use. If you see anything that's unfamiliar, then do a quick Google search before you actually uninstall it just to make sure that it's not needed. Speaking of things that are not needed, I also wanna take this time to talk about some antivirus software. Now, your gaming laptop may come pre-installed with like McAfee or Norton. I don't know if they still do that nowadays, but basically you don't need any of those. Honestly, Windows Defender that comes pre-installed with Windows is a great antivirus software. You don't need anything else. These usually just give you a free trial anyways for a couple of months and then make you pay afterwards. But as long as you have common sense and good internet practices, like knowing not how to click on really fishy links, then you'll be good with Windows Defender. That's all you need. Now, uninstalling apps this way is good, but sometimes there may be extra files that are left over even though you've uninstalled the app. So I actually recommend another way of doing this. You can also use an app called Revo Uninstaller. It's a really good app that allows you to uninstall apps from your PC, and it'll even go and find files that are left over and uninstall and delete those as well. I am not sponsored or affiliated by Revo Uninstaller at all. I just wanted to show you guys a really cool app. It's mostly free. They do have a paid version with some extra features but it's totally not needed you get pretty much everything you need out of the free version anyway after uninstalling everything you can now have some peace of mind that all of the bloatware is gone and you can get to the more important things like updating your drivers and software for your gaming laptop most likely your gaming laptop was sitting in a store or a warehouse for a long period of time and since then there have been a lot of updates and drivers that you need to install before you do any gaming or else you will see some issues first you should make sure that you have the most up-to-date version of Windows installed so we're just gonna go down to the search bar here, type in Windows updates, and you can see that it should bring up a screen here and it'll show you if you have the latest version of Windows installed with all of the updates. For my computer right now, it looks like there was an update recently, so we actually have to restart and update, but I'll do that after the video. Next, you should make sure to update all of the drivers for your essential components, namely your GPU. Now, your gaming laptop has probably already installed the GPU software that you need to update your drivers and stuff. If you have an NVIDIA card like me, then it's gonna be the NVIDIA app, or if you have an AMD card, then it's going to be AMD Radeon software. Once you open any of these apps, it should be pretty straightforward. As you can see on the left, we have a tab called Drivers, and then at the top right, we have the GameForce Ready driver. This will tell you if you have the most up-to-date drivers for your GPU and games installed. So right now I have it installed already. That's why we see the reinstall here. So we're up to date already. Now I can't tell you how many times that I've actually helped someone with their issues on their gaming laptop or PC by just asking them a simple question like, did you update the drivers for your PC and GPU to the latest version? This is a really important step and drivers are updated actually pretty often, pretty much when there's a new AAA game announced, then there's gonna be a new driver update to make sure that that game runs as smooth as it can. Outside of your GPU, you might also need to update drivers for your other hardware, like your Wi-Fi card and your chipset. If you wanna check if you need to update the other drivers for your hardware, then let's go to the search bar and we're gonna type in device manager in the, it's gonna bring up control panel. And you'll see here that it'll show you all of the hardware that you have inside your gaming laptop. If you notice that there's a yellow exclamation mark next to any of these icons, then that means that there's an issue with that piece of hardware and you likely need to update the driver. Let's say for example, you need to update one of the drivers for your network adapters. You just right click on whatever one has the issue, 
click update driver and this box will open up. Then you wanna click search automatically for drivers and it'll tell you if you have the best drivers installed already or if you need to update. All right, now that we're done with the boring stuff like removing all the bloatware and installing and updating your drivers, we can get to the more exciting things like optimizing your gaming laptop for gaming. So the first thing you wanna do, especially if you play a lot of graphically demanding AAA games is to enable high performance mode on your laptop. So to give a quick explanation of what is high performance mode, most gaming laptops and even gaming PCs come with two GPUs installed. One is an integrated GPU that's attached to the motherboard and the other is a dedicated GPU and this is the one that is actually used for all your gaming and all of the really intensive tasks. When you switch to high performance mode, it tells your gaming laptop to only use the dedicated GPU so that it can not spend any time or energy using the integrated GPU so you get the best performance out of your games and other areas that may use the GPU. Most new laptops nowadays actually have a hybrid sort of mode which will automatically detect if you're gaming or if you're not gaming gaming and it'll switch to the dedicated GPU versus the integrated GPU. But I still like enabling high performance mode anyway, just so that you know that for sure it's not using the integrated GPU and you're getting the best performance. Now this step is gonna be different depending on which gaming laptop you have. You may have to go into the BIOS to enable dedicated GPU and reboot, but for Lenovo Legion laptops, you can actually do it in a much easier way. Most Lenovo laptops have an app called Lenovo Vantage, which allows you to change a bunch of settings and configurations in order to get the most power or efficiency from your gaming laptop. If we open this up, you can see on the right side, we have a tab called GPU working mode. And if we click into that, it'll show us all of the working modes for this laptop. We have hybrid, hybrid auto, and then the last one is DGPU mode, which stands for dedicated GPU mode. Now all you gotta do is select dedicated GPU mode and click save and you're all done. Next, we wanna make sure that the screen on your gaming laptop is calibrated so that you get the highest refresh rates possible whenever you're gaming. And this is really important for fast paced competitive competitive games like Marvel Rivals, Apex, Overwatch, because it makes the gameplay feel a lot more smoother and you can hit a lot of more of your shots. To check this, all you need to do is go to your desktop, right click, and we're gonna go to display settings. And in display settings, we're gonna scroll to the bottom and you can see advanced display here. We're gonna click into that and then it'll show you which display you have connected. And then in the bottom right, it'll show choose refresh rate. And we're gonna click into that and you're gonna select whatever is the highest refresh rate possible for your gaming laptop. For me, it's 240 hertz. Lastly, a quick bonus tip to optimize your gameplay is to actually use the NVIDIA app to optimize the settings for whichever games that you have installed. Now, NVIDIA is gonna recommend whether you should optimize for performance or quality, and you can adjust it a little bit by dragging the slider to the left or right here. And then once you choose the position and click optimize, it'll change your in-game settings to optimize for performance or quality or whatever one that you chose in the slider. You can also adjust these settings in the actual games once you have them booted up, but it's pretty convenient to have them all located here and adjust them and optimize them as you see fit without actually having to start the game. Now we're gonna talk about improving the longevity of your gaming laptop because you or maybe someone else just spent a ton of money on getting this laptop, right? So naturally you wanna keep it as long as you can. Well, unless maybe you're rich and you're buying a new gaming laptop every year or two, maybe disregard these steps if you're you know, in that category. One important tip that can really boost the lifetime of your gaming laptop is to set charging limits for the internal battery. When lithium ion batteries are charged to 100% and especially stay at 100% for a longer period of time, this causes a lot of stress and wear and tear on the battery, so it won't last as long over time. But keeping it between 20 and 80% charged is usually a lot better for the battery and doesn't cause as much stress. So if you wanna increase the lifespan of your battery, then it's a good idea to set the charging limit to 80%, especially if you charge it often. Again, the exact steps are gonna be different depending on which gaming laptop you have, but for Lenovo laptops, you can also set charging limits in the Lenovo Vantage app. All you gotta do is open it up, scroll down until you see this power button Button here we're gonna click into that scroll down to further and then you should see conservation mode turning on conservation mode will do exactly as we stated by keeping the battery charged at 75 to 80 percent so it'll increase the lifespan of your battery now another important and overlooked tip is keeping your laptop clean you don't want to go months without cleaning your laptop especially if you live in a very dusty environment or have pets so here are two relatively inexpensive things that you can use to keep your laptop clean the first is microfiber cloths these things are super cheap you can buy them on amazon i'll make sure to keep a link to these exact ones in the description and you can use them to clean your screen clean your keyboard and it'll keep your laptop spick and span 
for years to come. And the second thing is this electric air duster. Now this is really cool because I use this for both my gaming PC and my gaming laptop. It's wireless, so once you turn it on, it'll start blowing dust and cleaning whatever area that you pointed at. For gaming laptops, you wanna use this to clean out any dust that's trapped in the air vents underneath or in the back of your gaming laptop. But if it's been a really, really, really long time since you've cleaned your laptop and the dust is just really caked up in there, then you're probably gonna need to open it up and do some more deep cleaning. I won't go into that, but maybe I'll leave a video somewhere in the description for that. Now it's finally time to install some games and other essential software as well. There are a bunch of game clients out there. There's Steam, Epic Game Store, but one that really is overlooked a lot of time is GOG, good old games. GOG is a storefront that allows you to download games and actually have more ownership over them, unlike Steam or the Epic Game Store. When you install a game using Steam, for example, it probably comes with some restrictions, like having to use your Steam account to play it, needing to be online, or how many devices you can actually play that game at the same time. But with GOG, once you download a game, you can do pretty much anything you want with it. Copy and paste it to another device, play on multiple devices at the same time, you don't need to be online or have an account unless the game actually requires you to be online. A big downside though is that GOG doesn't have every game available. It's mostly meant for older games and once a game is gone from its store then there's just no way to download it from there again. So if you're buying and downloading a game from GOG.com and you want to make sure to keep it forever then you're going to need to protect it and keep it in a secure place on your own. I am not sponsored nor do I have any affiliations with GOG.com. I just want to show something cool because I feel like a lot of people don't really talk about this. Other software that I highly recommend installing on your gaming laptop are tools to help you monitor the performance when you're gaming or even adjust some of the hardware settings if you want to do some overclocking or undervolting. MSI Afterburner with Rebatuner is a great app that allows you to see pretty much any performance stats for your gaming laptop. Things like CPU and GPU usage, temperatures, frame rates, you name it. And you can do this too with other apps like the Nvidia app or AMD software but MSI Afterburner and Rebatuner give you a lot more customization to these things. With MSI Afterburner, you can also choose to overclock or undervolt your GPU. Overclocking is pretty much boosting the speeds of your GPU in order to get better performance, but it comes with the cost of consuming more power and generating more heat. Now with how good modern GPUs are nowadays, you pretty much have no need to do overclocking because it has great performance right out of the box. And undervolting is telling your GPU to use slightly less voltage so that you keep the same performance levels but generate less heat and use a little bit less power. Now I haven't done any undervolting myself but I can definitely understand the benefits of why people would do so because it increases the lifespan of your GPU and other hardware that you choose to undervolt. But before you try using any of these knobs to overclock or undervolt your GPU or CPU, please 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 do research beforehand because if you do things wrong, then it could lead to a lot of issues with your gaming laptop. Anyways, that's it for this video. I really appreciate you for watching this entire thing. And if you think I left something out, let me know in the comments. We can share knowledge and discuss more there. I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one.